Well, on this Thanksgiving, hundreds of volunteers across Memphis took time away from their family, their friends, to give back and lift up the less fortunate. We found nonprofits and churches, large and small, rolling up their sleeves for a common cause, charity to others. As Brad Broder shows us, the spirit of giving this holiday carries on a long legacy of compassion for the Bluff City. On Thanksgiving for nearly two decades at Westie's Restaurant in downtown Memphis, a tradition continues as volunteers serve and the city's homeless or less fortunate are served. And every mouth we feed, every young child that comes through, every child that comes in to volunteer, we're trying to show them that people care. For organizer and South Memphis native Dallas Minner, the event always takes on special significance and carries extra weights. I was blessed. I was never hungry. But for a little bit of change of circumstance, it could have been me. Westy stood out, but definitely didn't stand alone in its compassion this Thanksgiving. <laughs> At Mississippi Boulevard Christian Church in Midtown, volunteers didn't let the rain dampen their spirit of giving or serving holiday meals. To know that that worry has been taken away and that they'll have a full stomach today, it means a lot. And it gives us the energy we need to continue to fight to make sure there's no more homelessness, no more poverty in the city of Memphis. Pastor Jay Lawrence Turner's church served as a cooking hub for this year's Mem Feast with the goal of serving 5,000 meals on Thanksgiving. Those meals went out across the Bluff City at several other churches, including Greenwood CME Church in Orange Mound. Today we're reaching back, giving back to our city, to our community, letting them know that we care about them. One Memphis. A Memphis unified in compassion shouldn't be surprising. In recent years, multiple studies found the Bluff City as the most generous city in the country based on the percentage of income given to charity. From across Memphis this Thanksgiving, I'm Brad Broders reporting.